Protein is um, sort of a basic structure that found, is found in all of life. Um, it's a molecule. And so I like to visualize this with a, a kind of a bracelet analogy. Um, this is from my son. And um, these beads represent kind of individual amino acids. So protein is essentially is a string that's made up of these little individual pieces. Um, and there's 20 different amino acids that you can combine in, in any kind of different way. Um, and the last thing is a, a protein then is, doesn't usually exist as a string, but actually folds up into a particular shape, uh, depending on the order and how those different uh, amino acids interact together. Yeah. Amino acids in, in our body come from the food that we eat, um, and we also make them. So, um, you know, other animals make proteins. So we eat those, take those in, and we actually, you know, take that chain and break it down into the individual amino acids. And then we can rebuild it in any kind of combination that we want. Um, so it turns out we can make... 10, about half of our amino acids on our own, but the other half we have to get from our food. So uh, meat and things like that have a lot of protein content in, in that. And a lot of that has to do with muscle. There's a lot of protein that's required to make your muscles, uh, muscles move. Um, and then once they're broken down, they kind of float around in the, inside the cell, those little individual beads in our analogy. And then inside the cell, your body basically uh, connects them together into, to make the proteins that your, your body needs to make. And then uh, in our own body, um, you know, there's, it's still kind of debated how many different kinds of proteins, but there's lots of different ways in which we combine these little bead-like amino acids into longer chains. So yeah, proteins um, carry out a lot of different roles in the cell. Um, there's kind of a few different main categories they fall into. One is structural, right? So your body is made up of particular structures and they can be kind of string-like structures or globules or things that anchor from one cell to another. Um, so proteins take on that role. Um, another big role that they take on is kind of biochemistry, how the how your body carries out particular reactions in your cell from breaking down fat or amino acids uh, or other proteins that we talked about um, to carrying on oxygen, right? Hemoglobin is an example of a protein. Um, so they're carrying out these special chem uh, chemical reactions inside your cell. And there's, you know, a number of other um, reactions that happen, but those are kind of the two main categories of functions that your protein proteins carry out in the cell. <laughs>